This video shows how you can use bundles in Mirror CMS to get a jump start on your site content, layouts, and functionality. Starting with an empty Mirror CMS site, let's navigate over to the getmirror.com website to download a free theme. Go to the Downloads section and select the 04 theme. It's free, it's got an open source license, and it's got a nice layout. Just fill out the download form and download the theme. It'll come downloaded as a zip archive, which will contain all the site files, including content, embedded images, layout files, even forms. So navigate back to your empty mirror site, click on the site manager tab, and in the site config menu, select deploy site bundle. You'll have a few options to choose from. You're going to want to include the site architecture and content, all the rendering files, and you're now going to upload the bundle file. Now that the bundle's been added, let's go to the front end of the site and see what everything looks like. So instead of an empty site, now we see a fully fleshed out site with example content, example functionality, and even images loaded in. All the way down to footers, forms to fill out, components, and pages. Here in the architectural view of the site manager, that we have all this content to check out. We can see in the news section, the various news items have been added. Same thing in the blog. And so you can see how using bundles can give you a huge head start on building out your site because you have so much to work with already. You're not just faced with a blank canvas. In Mirror CMS, there are two ways to edit from the front end. There's quick edit and full edit. We'll take a look at both. So let's say we wanted to edit this news item. Let's click to the item itself and navigate to it. Assuming that we're logged in, you'll see the front end admin toolbar here. You can show or hide it by clicking the small mirror logo right here. So let's say we wanted to make some text edits. We'll select quick edit. And the text we want to edit is immediately available for editing. So we can just select, let's say we want to delete that sentence, make this sentence bold, create a new paragraph break. You get the idea. It's really easy, it's really direct, it's super fast and convenient. When you're done with your edit, you can publish it, you can save it as a draft, or you can save it to a change set for batch publishing. In this case, we'll just select publish. Here's the changes we made, really fast, really direct. Now, if we want more control over the page, we can select full edit. Full edit brings up a different editing interface that gives us a lot more control over the different aspects of the page. We can change the title. We can change the associated image of the page, update the summary. Obviously the content of the page is available for editing but we also have access to all the other attributes of the page. Things like the SEO titles, things like which layouts have been applied to the page and which objects are on the page. In this case, you can see that this content node is currently inheriting the display objects from the main news section. So it doesn't have any directly applied in these content regions. You can apply categorization to a page, set tags, work with different attributes, uh, even some very advanced ones for programmers, and publishing rules like, let's say, for example, you wanted to have the content go live hmm, tomorrow. So you can set your start and stop dates. You can say, great, I want it to go live tomorrow at 9 a.m. Once you're done with your edits, just like in the quick edit mode, you can save something as a draft. You can save it and preview it. In this case, you get a multi-device preview that lets you switch between phone, tablet, and full screen. Uh, you can even set custom breakpoints for that if you like. And of course, you can go ahead and publish it directly. Like everything else in Mira CMS, front-end editing is focused on ease of use and being able to get in and get what you want done 
so you can get back to whatever else you're working on. One great feature in Mira CMS is change sets. Change sets allow you to make multiple edits to items across the site, preview the site as if all your edits were live, and when you're happy with your edits, go ahead and publish them. And you can publish them either manually or you can set it on a schedule. So let's take a look at that. We'll create a change set. We'll add a couple different items into it and we'll preview it. So go over to the site manager and create your change set. Change sets can be found under the content staging module. Let's add a change set. Now we could create a close date, which is the last date edits can be made into a change set. And we could also set a publish date, but instead we'll just keep it simple. Okay, so we've got change set one created. We'll go back to the front end of the site and we'll go make a change to a news item. So let's make an obvious one. Let's change the associated image on this page. We'll do that using the full edit mode. So we'll upload a new file. And we'll go ahead and publish the page. But we won't publish it. We'll save it to a change set. Add it to change set one. If we didn't have a change set already created, we could do it by just creating a new one here. But We'll stick with change that one for now. Okay, so what's going on is Mira's uploading uh, the image and creating multiple versions of it based on presets we've already configured for the site. So no need for Photoshop or manual cropping. Let's go back to the home page. And let's go over to the contact form and make a change to that. So on the contact form, we have a simple form. Let's make a couple quick changes. So we're using our form builder here. So we've got first name, last name, phone, email address, preferred method of contact, and a message. So let's add one more element to the form. Let's add a text field. Uh, that has a company name in it. So there's company name. And now we can drag this into the order we want. Let's place it after the last name. Okay. Very simple. So let's save this to a change set as well. Change set one. We'll save it. And we're all set. Now the form doesn't appear to be changed because we're not previewing this using change sets. So let's do that now. Let's go into the change sets selector up here. We'll select change set one. And now we can see that this page has the company name field in the form. So we can also go to the other items that are in the change set, which is the wait, what's that news item? So if we go scroll over to that, we can see that that also has the new photo that we've added. Now, if you're coming to the site and you're not logged in as an admin previewing change sets, you'd never know these changes were here. That's what's great about change sets is you can do multiple changes. You can preview them. You can share the link for other people to see the site with all the edits being made. And then when you're ready, you can go ahead and publish them.